सॉल्व वन प्रॉब्लम ऑन स्टैटिक फोर्स एनालिसिस ऑफ क्विक रिटर्न मोशन मेकेनिजम कॉन्फिगरेशन फॉर क्विक रिटर्न मोशन मेकेनिजम इज मेन्शन इन द क्वेश्चन लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू ड्रॉ द डायग्राम एज पर गिवन कॉन्फिगरेशन फर्स्ट वी हैव टू ड्रॉ द कंस्ट्रक्शन लाइन सो दिस वर्टिकल लाइन is given with length 400 plus 400 that is equal to 800 mm we will consider some suitable scale 1 cm is equal to 25 mm so as per this scale we have to draw here one vertical line that is 32 cm now at the initial we have to take here fixed point o and then at 400 mm so as per this scale at 16 cm we have to take here one point that is a and which is also fixed now from this point a how to draw this link ab so here angle 105 degree is given so with this horizontal reference line we will take here angle 105 degree and we will draw one line now this link ab length is mentioned 200 mm so we have to take 8 cm distance and we have to select here point b so this link ab is getting completed now how to draw the link oc so this link oc is passing through this point b so we will draw here one line which is passing through the point b and the length is given 800 mm so as per this scale we have to take the 32 cm distance and we should select the point c so this link oc is also getting completed now from this uh, point where this 32 cm distance is completed we have to again draw one horizontal line and which is the construction line now from this point c there is point d we have to select and which is at 300 mm distance so as per this scale we have to take the 12 cm distance in the compass take c as a center and at 12 cm we have to mark here one arc so the point of intersection for this arc with this horizontal line is the point d now at point d at point b there is one slider and this motion of this slider is along this link oc so we have to draw here one block and the motion that is this is the fixed surface for the motion of this slider so we have to show this motion is parallel to this link oc now in the same way for this slider at this point d the the motion is along this horizontal line so we have to show here the fixed surface and the motion is along the horizontal line now in question it is also mentioned that for this slider there is 300 newton force acting towards the right hand side direction so this is the diagram now what is the question so for the equilibrium of this quick return motion mechanism how much torque is to be applied on this link ab so we have to decide the magnitude as well as direction which is to be applied for this torque t so we will first draw the free body diagram so for this free body diagram how to draw so for the each link we have to take here separately now we will give numbers so we will for the fixed surface we will give here the number 1 so which is which surface are fixed so this point o is fixed so i will give here number 1 for this point a also i will give here number 1 now this slider are moving uh, along this surfaces so these surfaces are also fixed so here also number 1 and here also number 1 now we will move to the next so this link ab we will give here number 2 then there is this slider so slider at point b i will give here the number 3 and then there is the link oc so for this whole link we will consider here the number 4 so i will consider here the number 4 then after oc there is c to d so this is also link so i will consider here the next link number that is number 5 so i have to show here here this 
and again there is one slider at point D. So slider at point D we will consider as a link number 6. Now first step is to identify the types of members. If we consider link AB then through this point A which force is applied. So point A is the fixed point. So F of 1 to 2. So we will mention here. Then through the point B F of 3 to 2. And there is one torque. So this is two force and one torque member. Now we will move to the link OC. So if we observe at point B there is the slider. And which moves along this link OC at point B. So we have to locate here the point B. And we will take the same distance and we will mark the point B here. Now because of the motion along this link OC there is the force applied and it is in the perpendicular direction. So how to show this perpendicular direction? So we will align one edge with this link OC and along the second edge we will draw one line passing through the point B. So this is the line of action of force that is getting applied because of the motion of the slider. So to the point O which force is applied F of 1 to 4. Through the point C, which force is applied? F of 5 to 4. And next, through the point B. So at this point B, it, there is this slider which is having link 3. So F of 3 to 4. So this is 3 force member. Now we will move to the link CD. So for this CD, if we observe through the point C which force is applied, so F of 4 to 5. And then through the point D which force is applied, so there is this slider having link 6, so F of 6 to 5. So this is 2 force member. Now we will move slider which is having center at D point. So here this slider that is nothing but link number 6. So how to uh, apply the forces? So this slider is connected at point D. And if we observe at point D force is getting transferred from this link number 5 on this 6. So F of 5 to 6. So I will write here F of 5 to 6. Then there is force is equal to 300 Newton. And because of the motion of the slider along this horizontal line and motion is taking place with fixed surface. And fixed surface that is link number 1. So F of 1 to 6. So we can say that this is 3 force member. Now we will move to the slider with center B. So at this point if we observe it is getting connected to this link AB. So force is applied F of 2 to 3. So I will write here F of 2 to 3. And then it is moving along this link OC but with this fixed surface. So because of the surface is fixed so force applied F of 1 to 3. So this is two force member. Now we will draw here the free body diagram. So how to draw the free body diagram for this link AB? So it is two force and one torque. So we will take the next link that is the link CD and which is two force member. So to draw the two force member we know that the line of action of force is taking place along this link CD. So I will show here the line of action of force. So through the point D force applied F of 6 to 5. And through the point C F of 4 to 5. So we have to mention. Now here is the point C and this is the point D. So for this point D I will draw the same line of action of force for this slider. So I will show here so to the point D. So we have to take the parallel line to the line of action of force and we will show this in this way. 
so which force is getting applied so here 6 to 5 and now we have to take 5 to 6 f of 5 to 6 which are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction now there is the force force 300 newton that already shown in the question so we have to show this force that should be passing through the center and towards the right hand side direction so this force is nothing but the force f now what about the f of 1 to 6 so these two forces intersect at the center now the motion is taking place along the horizontal line so we have to show the force that is applied in the vertical direction that is perpendicular to the motion so we will show here this is the line of action of force for f of 1 to 6 now we will move for the link oc which is three force member so for this three force member we have to show with this b which force is applied so this is the force or line of action of force uh, to the point b so f of uh, 3 to 4 so this is for f of 3 to 4 now we don't know which is the magnitude and we don't know which is the uh, direction now for here is the point o and here is the point c so this is the line of action of force through the point C. So we have to take the same line of action of force. So we have to take the parallel lines. Now if we observe this line of action of force through the point C is for F of uh, 5 to 4 f of 5 to 4 that means line of action of forces are same but opposite in direction now two forces are known that is the line of action of forces are known so if we continue this line of action of forces then we will get the concurrent point so here also we will get the concurrent point so this is the concurrent point p now we know that third line of action of force should also pass through the same point that is the point B. So we have to join this uh, point P. I will give here this notation point P and point O. So we have to join this. So this is the line of action of force passing through O. So which is the force passing through O. That is O is the fixed point F of 1 to 4. F of 1 to 4. This slider with center P is two force members. So we have to show the same line of action of force that is passing through the point P. So I will show here. Now at one side we have to show F of 2 to 3. And on the other side, we have to show here F of 4 to 3 because slider is moving along the link number 4. So here, not F of 1 to 3, but we have to show F of 4 to 3. So these are the forces. Now, we will move to the link AB, which is two force and one torque member. So, the, so we have to show the same line of action that is passing through the point B. So I will show here this is the point B and this is the line of action of force. Now what is the rule for this two force and one torque member that the line of action of forces are parallel to each other. So through the point A also I have to show the same line of action of force. Now we don't know what is the direction as well as magnitude. So we will uh, refer the three force member. So three force member is this link OC. But if we observe for all these three forces magnitude is not known as well as direction is not known. Now if we refer this slider uh, that is uh, that this slider with center D then this is the three force member. Now in this three forces F is equal to 300 Newton and that is known. Its a direction is also known and mentioned in the question. So we will take this reference and with the help of scale 
we will draw here the force F. I will take here one centimeter is equal to two point five newton. And with this scale, I will draw one line which is of twelve centimeter length and direction towards the right hand side. Now we will draw the force polygon. So this force polygon should be closed so that resultant force is equal to zero. So I will take here this F of five to six. Now this F of five to six, I have to draw either at the head or at the tail. So we will transfer this line of action of force with this parallel line. So I will uh, draw this line of action of force passing through the tail. Now next is F of one to six, and which is the vertical line. So remaining is the head. So I will pass through with the head. So here is the intersection point. So I will draw the confirm force. So this is the line of action of force. So I will draw this, and this is F of five to six, and this vertical line F of one to six. Now this polygon should be closed. So at the head of F, there should be tail of the next force F of one to six. So I have to show this. At the head of F of one to six, there should be tail of F of five to six. So I have to show here the head. Now we will decide the direction. So direction of F of one to six is in the vertical direction. So I will show here. Then F of five to six is in the downward direction. So we have to show here f of five to six. Now f of five to six and f of six to five are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. So we have to show here the opposite direction. So f of six to five and four to five we have to show in opposite direction. So we will show here that is at point C. So here is also point C. So four to five and five to four are also equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. So here this direction is getting fixed. Link O C is three force members. So we will draw here the force polygon. So to draw the force polygon, we don't know what is the magnitude of F of five to four. So the magnitude F of five to four is equal to F of four to five. Then F of four to five is equal in magnitude with F of six to five, and it is equal in magnitude with F of five to six. So we have to first find out F of five to six from this force polygon. So for this three hundred newton force, I have taken here length of F is equal to ten centimeter. That means scale is equal to one centimeter is equal to thirty newton. So, if I measure f of five to six, that is the length of f of five to six with scale, then it is equal to twelve centimeter. That means twelve multiplied by thirty, which is equal to three sixty newton. So we can say that this f of five to four, or magnitude of f of five to four, is equal to three sixty newton. Now, if we observe here one force, the direction as well as magnitude is known, then With the help of force polygon, we can find out the direction and magnitude of the other forces. To draw the force polygon, we will take scale one centimeter is equal to thirty six newton. So for this three sixty newton, we have to take length that is equal to ten centimeter. So we will take the direction parallel to this, and we will draw here force five to four and of length. 10 cm so here is the head and this is the tail so at head we can take any one line of action of force so i will take this f of 3 to 4 line of action of force and i will transfer at the head of this force then the other line of action of force f of 1 to 4 i will draw at the tail of this force so i will transfer this now Here is the point of intersection. So this force polygon should be closed. That means here f of three to four. So at the head of f of five to four, there should be tail of the next force, and here is the head. And at the head of f of three to four, there should be tail of f of one to four, and here is the 
direction. So we can say that f of 3 to 4 is having direction towards this left hand side. And this f of 1 to 4 is having direction in the downward direction. Now the force f of 3 to 4 at point B and this f of 4 to 3 are opposite in direction as well as equal in magnitude. So I will show the direction opposite to this that is towards the right hand side. Now f of 4 to 3 and f of 2 to 3 are also equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. Now this f of 2 to 3 and f of 3 to 2 are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. So we have to show the direction that is in this direction. Now this link AB is two force and one torque member. So the forces are parallel but opposite in direction. So here is the direction. Now if we observe these two forces form a couple in clockwise direction. So we can say that there is the torque in anti-clockwise direction. Now how to decide the magnitude of this torque? So for that we have to first find out magnitude of this one force f of 3 to 2. So f of 3 to 2 is equal in magnitude with f of 2 to 3 and f of 2 to 3 is equal in f of 4 to 3 and f of 4 to 3 is equal in magnitude with f of 3 to 4. So what is the value of f of 3 to 4? So we have to measure this length. So this length is equal to 15 cm. So scale is, scale for this force polygon 1 cm is equal to 36 newton. So 15 multiplied by 36 which is equal to 540 newton. So this f of 3 to 2 is equal to 540 newton. Now we have to measure the perpendicular distance in between these two parallel lines. So with the help of protractor I will align one edge with this line and along the other edge I will draw here the perpendicular line and here is this height edge. If we measure this height edge then it is equal to 6 cm but this diagram is as per scale 1 cm is equal to 25 mm. So 6 multiplied by 25 which is equal to 150 mm. So we will convert this into meter that is 0 0.15 meter. So what is the torque T? So magnitude of torque T is equal to 540 multiplied by 0 0.15. So which is equal to 81 newton meter and direction is in the anti-clockwise direction.